So we're going to be connecting to a spreadsheet and there's a list of users in the spreadsheet. So going through the list of users and writing the Google Apps script, that's going to send a message to each one of the users and we're going to send a customized message to each one of them depending on the data that we've got within the spreadsheet. That's all coming up. Go ahead and log into your Google account, create a Google Apps script. In this case, we're going to be working with a standalone script. So we've got the ID of the sheet. I already have some data set up within the sheet. It's within a sheet and then our spreadsheet. Our sheet is called users. So we're going to be selecting the content from users and then sending each one of these users an email. So go ahead and create a function and I'll call it sender email. And within this function, the first thing that we want to do is we want to select the sheet object. So using the spreadsheet app and then open by ID, we can specify the ID. And then we want to get sheet by name and the name is going to be users. So we want to make sure that we select the sheet object properly. So going into the log, I always log it out just to make sure that it is selecting the sheet and I don't have any errors at this point as I continue to build out the script. Because these are chained together, you can also separate them out onto new lines. It depends on how you want to make the code or how readable you want to make the code. So depending on what your preference is, you can also indent it within the app script to make it a little bit easier to read. So once we've got the sheet, we want to get the data from the sheet and we're going to be selecting the data from the sheet itself, getting the data range. So that's going to select all the active cells that have sheets. And this is selecting a block of cells. So even if we had caught one piece of content in D or one piece of content in eight, that would change the way that the block is selected. So it's selecting it by a block of rows and columns where the last piece of data is within each one. We want to get the values and that's going to return back all of the data from the sheet. So in this example, we want to just get, so we know that the first row is the headings and we want to only get the rows of users. So we have that within the data and we can do the data and apply a JavaScript slice starting at row number one. So that should just return back a list of the users minus the headings. And typically within a spreadsheet, the first row is going to be containing the headings. So we don't want that. We're going to be selecting out the, just the users. So that outputs the users. So we're ready to take that users and use for each to loop through each one of the users. And we can select it as user. And I'm also going to track the index. And the index is going to be useful if we want to write back into the script. So for now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looping through and we want to get the name of each one of the per, uh, people. So it's going to be the, we'll call it username. And as we loop through user and the first item within the user array is going to be the name. And then the email is going to be within the user with index value of two. And then the ID is going to have the user. And this is just for my example. It depends on how you've set up your spreadsheet. And I'll just log these out where I'll have the username, email, and ID. So it's always good that you log it out just to make sure that you do have the content set selected properly. So there's the information. And actually, I need to change this into a string. So this is just so that we're collecting the information. So it's all going to be the concatenated values there that we have. So we did get the values properly. And now we're ready to send out the email. And there's going to be the, just the one statement that's going to send the email. And we create the send email. And the first parameter is going to be the email. We're going to need the subject. Welcome. And maybe this is going to be a welcome email. And then the mess actually message itself. So let's go ahead and we're going to construct the message. And I'll just do this as a template literal. So those are the back ticks to the left of the one key on most keyboard. 
and this way I can incorporate some of the variables and then whatever the user's ID is. So it's going to send each one of these users an email. So run that again. We need to accept permissions because we're adding in permissions into the script that we haven't accepted yet. And this is the case that every time when you add in the permissions, it's going to ask you to accept the permissions. And then now we can go over to the inbox and there's all of the emails that have been sent out. And the reason that they're coming into the same inbox is that I'm using the alias of plus one. So with Google emails, if you have your email address, if you do a plus one, it will count it as an alias and it will send it out to the main uh, email address that you have. And we see that the message is going to be the content that's contained within each one of these rows within the spreadsheet. So that's how you can send an email out from content within the spreadsheet.